interest is the foundation of like personal finance, right? We have to really understand interest, especially the power of compound interest, right? So now we're going to do an activity. Everyone, please take out the calculator feature on your phone. You got like a calculator on your phone? Because I want you to see the power of compound interest, all right? So here's the thing. So everybody, you're on your phone and go to the calculator feature. And here's the thing. Let's say that you invested $10,000 into an investment that is paying you 10% APR. What's APR? Annual percentage rate, yes. So if you're investing in um, you know, a vehicle that's paying you 10% APR, that's 10% every year. Now here's the thing, the cool thing about it is that the interest will compound because as you're earning interest every year, right, that interest gets added on to the principal, the, the, the uh, initial principal, and so then every other year, right, every additional year, you're making more interest because you're making interest not only on the initial amount, but you're also making interest on the accumulated interest that you earned, all right? I know that may sound a little confusing, so we're going to walk through an example and you're going to see the actual numbers, all right, off this example of $10,000 at 10% APR. So, what, how much interest do you earn the first year if it's $10,000 at 10% APR? What is it? $1,000. All right, so everybody got that? You made $1,000 in year one, okay? Now. For year two, oh, and by the way, how did you calculate that in your phone? You put 10,000 times 0.1, right? And you got 1,000. Okay, now, for year two, though, how much interest did you earn? How do you calculate that? What's, what's the starting amount for year two? 1,100, not the 10,000. It's, you know, 10,100, it's 1,100. It's 10,000, it's 10,000, um, it's 10,000, it's, it's 11,100, all right? All right, I mean, wait, no, 11,000. 11,000 is the starting amount. So in your calculator, you put 11,000 times 10%, and then you get 1,100, right? Okay, so for year two, for year two, the, the amount of interest that you earn is 1100 right? Now, for year three, though, how much interest do, do, do you earn for year three? Right, 1,210, right? And how did you calculate that in your calculator? Right, excellent, excellent, awesome. For year four, how much is that? Year four, how much interest do you earn in year four then? Right, 1,331, right, okay? And so it keeps going on, and then like look, uh, for year eight, it's up to like $1,948.71 that you earn in, in, in year, year eight. So do you see how the interest is compounding? Every year, you're making interest on not only the initial amount, but you're also making interest on the past interest that you earn. So the interest is compounding. So it's growing, it's growing faster every year. And so the reason why this is so important is because the earlier you start investing, the more you can take advantage of compound interest. Right? So now let me show you this chart that's really, really cool. It shows you how, let's say there's an example where a person is investing $100 a month into a typical, you know, stock market index fund, right? Like a Roth IRA index fund, right? And we're assuming an average interest rate of 10%, right? Which is like the average, right? For those types of accounts. And so if you start at the age of 16 and invest $100 a month, by the age 65, at 10% average interest rate, you, you're over, you, the account will have grown to be over 1.5 million, just off of $100 a month, right? 
Now, if you wait, though, until you're 26, that amount will just be 571,000. Still a lot, still over a half a million, but you see how it's like almost, it's, it's like almost a million dollars less just because you waited 10 years. Why? Because you lost that time, right? If you wait until you're 36, then it's only 203,000. Still a lot, but a much less, right? If you wait until you're 46, it's going to be like 67,000, 601, right? So the main thing is this, is that the earlier you start investing, the more you can take advantage of the power of compound interest.